this session, I'm going to talk about some of the basic database concepts. First, we're going to start with the definition of a database. A database is a collection of data that is stored in a computer system. A database allows their users to enter, access, and update, and analyze their data quickly and easily. They are a powerful tool that you see them all the time. When you go to the doctor's office, when you go to the grocery store, when you go online to purchase something, when you go to search something on a library system, all that information is usually stored in what's called a database. The easiest way to understand the database is to think of it as a collection of lists. So think of it, for example, if you're running a business, you have a list of customers, you have a list of orders from those customers, you have a list of items that you are selling to your customers or services that you're providing to your customers, and then you might have a list of invoices and other purchases from vendors and things alike. But when you put all of those lists together in a database, those lists are linked together and the information is related from one table to another and that's partially what is referred to as a relational database. So where does Access fit into this? Microsoft Access 2010 is a relational database software program or database management system, DBMS, that runs on Windows operating system. It is used to manage data that is organized into lists, such as information about customers, products, vendors, employees, projects. So basically, again, Microsoft Access is a relational database management system created by Microsoft to store, organize, and manipulate data as well as to select and report on it. Question is, what are some of the database components? So some of the components, just to summarize them briefly, are tables, queries, forms, and reports. Tables, that's where the data is stored within the database. Then the queries retrieve specific data from the tables or other queries and displays only the data that you specify. Queries allow you to ask questions about the data in your tables. For example, I want just the first name, last name, and email address. It's very similar to the other function in the computer, like the processing that takes place in the computer, if you were to take it as an analogy. Then the form is used to enter new records in a table. That's the data entry component of it and to edit or delete existing records into the table. Usually, the data is not entered directly into the table manually, but it is done through the forms. And the form, it, think of it the input of the data, the entering of the information into the system. And then the reports are the, the fourth component here, and those would be very similar to the output. They summarize the fields or records from a table or a query in an easy to read format. For example, that would be a report that you print out, something that you print out to give to your manager for the sales of that day. Now, what does all of this look like in an actual database? Here's a really simple database that we have. We have a database called the customer sales here, and we have a bunch of tables. In this case, we have the customer table, we have the contract table, and then we have invoices. So think again about these as separate lists. So the customer table, of course, it would have the list of customers. We have here the, for example, the customer ID, company, first name, last name, telephone number, street address, city, state, and so on. So those would be very similar to what we have seen in Excel. You can sort this data, you can manage it in different, uh, filter it and things of that nature, but think of it just as, an, as a list. Now, besides the customers, if you're running a business, then you'd probably have different contracts or different sales. So in this case, this is another example of a table, the contracts table. If we double click on it, we have the contract number, the customer ID, contract amount, the date, and then the type. 
And then notice we have another table here called invoices. And the invoice table has the date, number, and the item, what it was for, the amount, and whether it was paid or not. So those are the tables. Again, this is where the data is stored into a database. Think of it when you hear tables, storage. The next component in a database, like I mentioned earlier, it is the queries. So if we go here, the queries, for example, are like we have a table customers. Notice we have a whole bunch of fields here. The fields are those names of the columns here. And let's say that we wanted to generate a list of only the first name, last name, and then let's say email address and some other pieces of information here. So what we do is what we create what's called a query and we'll learn how to create queries uh, momentarily here. So notice I have another entry here under the customer table and this is a query that we have run that I defined earlier. If I double click on it, notice I have only the first name, last name, telephone number and email address. So that, uh, think of it, the processing of a data based on a criteria. And this is an example of a form. The form is basically, instead of you going to the customer table, scrolling all the way to the bottom and entering the data manually here, which is not recommended, you'd go under the customer data entry form, for example, in a form similar or nicer than this, and enter the new records right here. And you just basically fill in the data. In a real business, this is what the assistant would utilize for entering the data into the into the database. And then the final component, as I mentioned earlier, it is the reports. And reports are very similar to queries, but they are just designed so that they can be printed out and that they look nicer. So these were some of the basic components of a database. Of course. Each database has uh, various components. The tables are where the data is stored. The queries are how the data is manipulated. Then the forms are how the data is updated and added onto. And then the reports, how the data is printed out or output.